Oh my god, I'm talking. Look at me. Talking to you guys. So, I know you guys wanted me to do more of a talk through video. So that is what we're gonna do today. I finally got my house to calm down a little bit. Mm-hmm, meaning my mom, because she talks really loud. So I finally got that under control and well, let's just begin. So I'm going to first prep my skin. I actually used first this The Needles No More, no more Baggage by Dr. Brandt um, first. I actually put this on, it's an eye de puffing gel. And basically what I just did was, let me just let's see you guys in a little bit. Basically what I just did is just put it under my eyes, a really, really thin layer. I'm not sure if you can double layer it, but I feel like I'm happy with how it is right now. It kind of feels a little tight, but I think that's like a good thing. And now I'm going to use this new moisturizer that I have not touched yet. It's the Glam Glow Water Burst Hydrated Glow Moisturizer. So, ooh, it's a pretty blue color. Huh. So I know that you guys wanted me to do more of a talk through. Um, voiceovers for me are just a lot easier to do because there's always a lot of people in my house. Or really just my mom talking loud. Um, <laughs> there's always just something going on in my house. So it's just a lot easier for me to do uh, voiceovers. But I know that you guys really wanted me to do a talk through. I'm actually going to use the Hourglass Lip Oil. I don't know if you guys have ever tried this. It's a really, really nice. Mmm, super hydrating. And just feels really, really nice on the lips. Here. So we're going to go into brows. Let's see if I need to tweeze anything first. My favorite tweezers to use are the Sigma Beauty Expert Brow Design Tweezers. I'm not sure if they have them still um, because I tried to find them like the past couple times I've been on there. And I didn't see them anywhere, but if they are available, I will link them down below. We do have a little bit of hairs. These tweezers just really grab the hair. Just really easy without pinching the skin in any way. Oh, big truck. And they're just really, really easy to use, honestly. So it's pretty good, not a bud. I'm gonna move on to brows, and I've been loving the Hourglass Arch brow sculpting pencil and I'm using dark brunettes. I either use warm or dark brunette. I'm gonna use dark brunette today just because I feel like it. And I'm just using some small strokes. Pushing up a little bit. If you hear my dog, I'm sorry. She is trying to either yell at a murder outside or uh, just a person just trying to get by outside, which it usually is. Just going to fill that in. And if I mess up, I really don't worry about it because I know I'm going to go back in with some concealer and clean it up. I actually used the edge of it, the pointed part of it, just to kind of get that arch down. Then I'm going to conceal and I'm going to use light neutral tar shape tape, of course. And I'm just going to dot this. And we're going to just blend that out. I'm using an old brush that doesn't, doesn't exist anymore unfortunately. I've had this brush for literally five years. Maybe not. Maybe I'm being a little dramatic. Feels like I've had it for five years. But it was by a company called Brush Love. I don't even know if they exist anymore but it was like my first PR package I remember. And I was so excited. That honestly was like the best like just starting out and like s realizing like what you're doing is succeeding is just the best feeling one of the best feelings but a similar brush to this one is an e15 by sigma so i ordered the p louise base i'm so excited i can't wait to get it because i've heard i've heard i've heard so many good things so i am so excited to get it now i'm going to sit the brows with clear brow gel I actually miss talking to you guys like this. I know I used to do it all the time. Okay, so now if you've been watching my snaps and my uh, live glam tutorials or just me on Instagram like normally, you would know that I'm very obsessed right now with the European UK um, 
kind of way that people are doing makeup over there. It's like serious, serious detail and just a lot, like a really heavy, heavy eye. And I've just been really, really obsessed with it lately. Um, one of the artists, besides P. Louise, their Makeup Academy, they do a lot of work like that. And um, what else? Uh, M. 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 Mitchell, I think there's like four M's in his name. Um, he does work like that as well, and I've just been really, really obsessed with that. So that is the look that we're going to kind of go for today. I could put up some pictures if you guys want to see, like, what I kind of mean. But I'm just going to sit here and continue and just try to get a look like that. I've been trying and practicing for a couple days now, so hopefully I'll do a good job. going to be using the Violet Voss Pro palette in Like a Boss. This is one of their new palettes. I got to play with it the other day. It's really, really nice. I love their formula. I'm gonna use an E40 from Sigma to get started. And we're going to start with Serve. For primer, I'm gonna be using Painterly. I still love Painterly. It's still like my number one, but honestly, I've been kind of not liking it so much. I think I like it better in the summer because my skin isn't that dry. But it's kind of making my eyes dry and I'm not that crazy about it. It's just making it look like it has a little more texture than what my eye actually has. Or it's like bringing out the texture more, I would say. So I'm going to use Serve. And I'm just going to swipe back and forth. Basic blending. So basically what we're going to do is create a sick transition, a sick transition, and kind of make this rim right here, or this rim, try to make this crease right here, our outer rim, really, really pigmented, really, really strong. M513 brush by Morphe. And I'm going to go in with Boss, and then I'm probably going to follow up with Snatched. So again, doing the same motion, just kind of focusing it more on that crease area. Don't worry if you get it on the lid, it's totally fine, part of the blending process. And you kind of want to put the shadow a little bit above the crease. You watched my live glam takeover. You watched me fail once but then succeed. I actually had to start over with this palette. I was trying to do this kind of look but with shimmers and it was not working. And I just kind of turned it into a positive because you know that's gonna happen. Like you're gonna fail. I always make mistakes. I mean I'm always say that I'm still learning. Always. Good. I'm gonna go in now with Strong, which just is a little bit more of a red-brown. Just going in that crease up a little bit, down a little bit, up a little bit, down a little bit. Just blending that out. I'm gonna take the Tarte Tape again and put it on the back of my hand, as so. And I'm going to take a cut crease brush from Sigma, E62, one of my favorite brushes to do this with. And we are going to just carve out the lid. And do a total look up. That will probably help in where you should be cutting. And just kind of bring it down here. You can go out a little more if you'd like, but I'm just gonna kind of cut it back in like so. I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. Take a look at the help section in your Alexa app. Okay, Alexa didn't ask you for anything. And I'm gonna go in with Girl Crush because I really love that color and it's like interesting and weird and just like me. So we're gonna go in, oh look at that! And I don't even need like any wetness because the 
concealer just does everything for me but I don't need any spray or anything like that because just look at what it does for me already and don't worry if you do get it up there a little bit we're gonna fix it but I just wanted to play with this color because it's just so pretty now I'm gonna go in with adulting that color right there I'm just gonna fade it out going to take strong and just kind of do that just blend it and look how nice that looks there's still like a sharp line there's still that little cut which is exactly what I want so happy I don't think you guys understand how happy I am because I've been working on this forever for liner I'm using Kat Von D tattoo liner Using Tardis Mascara. Always happens. <laughs> e56. And I like it because it's thin and I'm going gonna go in with strong. Just sharpen. That up. Just like that. So I'm gonna use Million Dollar. It's a, watch I just got all over myself. It's a makeup addiction pigment. And we're gonna wet the brush. This is a waterline liner brush. I'm Sigma E17. Put it up there. Exactly what I wanted. This is exactly what I wanted. Oh, I don't think you guys are know how excited I am. And this is my new favorite brush for this. Jesus, this is perfect. these babies these are in tutti which means everything in italian and these are just that they're clear band so you can wear them with or without liner and i just love them and they're just so fluffy and they just look so pretty on the eye and for you guys i do have a discount code you can use subby in all caps and get 20 percent off on ggbelashes.com i'm gonna use the hoodie beauty glue And look, just look how pretty they sit. And they're fluffy, you can still see the eyeshadow. That is what I care about most with my lashes is that you could still see the eyeshadow. I'm gonna use the Becca Velvet Blurring Primer. Put some on my hand. It kinda does feel like velvet on the skin, it's weird. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Charge Double Duty Beauty Shape Tape hydration foundation and this is in medium tan honey it just covers really 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 well which to me is interesting i like the applicator i like that it's like concealer just put it all over the face just like that okay and then i'm gonna use this tarte smoothie blending brush to blend it out so I feel like sometimes these dewy foundations, they just are beautiful with the dewiness, but just the coverage is non-existent because they work so hard to get the product really dewy. But I feel like this was just an awesome mix. They did a really, really good job with this. 
For concealer, I'm gonna use Shape Tape in medium. Okay. Got my little clean blender. And I'm just gonna blend it out. And it's funny, because I really loved the old Quickie Blender. But I actually like the new one, too. You guys know I was obsessed with that thing. Going to contour with the KKW Beauty Sticks. And I totally smashed mine the other day. Can you see that? That is gorgeous. Oh no, I don't want it to waste. I'm like using that little piece because I don't want it to go anywhere. Because that's product, baby. That is product. Oh my god, does anyone like me in this way at all? I have to like mush it in there. Mush, mush. There we go. Okay. And I want to actually get the dark stick too. So I like this one, but I feel like when I get tan, it just does not work as well. The it Cosmetics Blurring Brush. I think this is the concealer brush. And that does a really nice job in that. I've had this for a while too. I love having brushes for a while because as long as you wash them, they stay well. I remember when I we used to work at MAC, that was like a big thing. Which MAC brushes, they absolutely do shed. Like I will completely agree with that. But it's because they're natural hair. So they're gonna shed. Synthetic won't shed as much. When you have natural hair on there, yes. It will absolutely shed. The highlighting part of the KKW, I'm just gonna go down the nose. Just kinda put it on my finger. I'm gonna use the Kat Von D translucent powder, the locket. As our makeup artist, make sure that you are taking advantage and getting all of the discounts that you can really get. Almost every makeup company has some kind of discount program. So, and that is what I'm planning to do too. I wanna have like a 60% off kind of uh, lash program for makeup artists so they could buy my lashes in bulk, but I am working on that. So I will let you guys know when that is all ready because I want to cater to um, artists as well. That's like, you know, that's why I really started my lash line because it helped me out so much as an artist. So I always needed lashes and I just was not crazy with how certain lashes lasted and how they acted and blah, blah, blah. So after that, I'm going to go in with the KKW Beauty Contour Kit. I'm going to use this brush that came with it that I love so much and just kind of add some more color to my face nothing crazy because we are already pretty bronzed up I just like to add a little bit of powder kind of just to set everything and just kind of blend everything together moving on to blush I'm gonna be using this old blush I don't even know if they have it anymore it's the Amazonian clay blush in sincere um, by Tarte. I don't know if they have it anymore. I will look for it. I will look for it for you guys. I'm using an F10 from Sigma. Mm -mm -mm. Now I'm going to kind of take away all that extra powder that we have laying around here. Kind of blend that up. Serve first and then royal is this green right here. I use this Samey 2.7 brush and that will be our base color. And now I'm going to go with Royal and just kind of dust it under there. Like that. The Hyper Real Glow. But this is, it doesn't say what shade it is in, 
but I like using all of these. Um, flashy Ave, Rosy Gold, and Light of the Party. I mix them all. M501 brush. And you can build it and build it and build it and it just looks like that. Put it on my brow like that and pat. I feel like the warmth of the finger just always kind of helps that. And then the inner corner of course. Always feel naked without that. Literally a look is not done for me. Unless that in a corner had a is button. And now it is complete. Not really. We have lips. So, but first I'm going to actually set. Just because I need a little bit of pressure. And I'm going to use the Fix Plus in Rose. I forgot how much I missed Fix Plus. Oh. And the Rose one. I don't know where my main one went. It's making me nervous. I hate losing things. So, for lips, we're going to use the Lippy Lingerie by Tarte in Bare. And with this, you don't even need a liner or anything like that, which is awesome. I hope you have enjoyed this talk through video. I definitely did and I'm so so happy with how it came out and I hope you guys liked it and I hope you guys learned with me and enjoyed it and yeah so let me know what you guys want to see next. Comment below and subscribe if you haven't already because I hope you have because I know you want to see more of this things probably maybe I don't know. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already and yeah. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Mwah.